New to SDS2 2021, we can now import in point clouds into the SDS2 model as E57 files. You can find the point cloud import under the tools ribbon, objects, point cloud, add. Or you can add it to your ribbon through the ribbon editor. In your Point Cloud Manager, you will import a new file and browse for the E57 file. A translation will pop up. I'm going to leave it as an auto-translate and it will bring it at 00. Otherwise, it might come in at thousands of feet and you can put in your own translation. You'll notice that there's multiple skins that came in and in this example, it scanned five times to bring in the pump. I can delete a specific scan, or I can delete an entire point cloud through my selection filter, and then make a box, and it will select my entire point cloud. With the translate override, I can do it with my mouse or specify, which I'll go through a little bit later. When I do the transform, I can move it, and there's a point cloud exact point now. I can select my reference point and move it. This will also pick a point cloud point if I were to import a member or use the ruler command. I had it for the mouse where I just selected my points, but I can also do if I do transform and do the translate override with specify, I can put in my specific points. In the properties, it will give everything about this point cloud along with the ID scan and the number of points that are in that. I can color each scan as well so I can see which specific points make up that specific scan. As I start to turn off the visible, it'll ask me if I want to hide everything, all of the scans that make up that point cloud or just that specific scan. And as I start to uncheck the visible, there's visible points down towards the bottom right, and the visible points will start to go away. I can do a quick visibility with all or none. That will select everything. And then if I have a specific area that I want to work on and just see that specific area of the point cloud, I can create a fence. So I'll just make a box with my fence name and the lower and upper elevation. You'll see that it now creates its own line. And now I have a fence. There are also some user options for your defaults. So in modeling, I have my point cloud settings, the translation method, if I want to specify the values, or I can use my mouse. I have the visibility if I want to see the point cloud as it comes in. And then I also have if I want it to remember when I close out of modeling. 